Having explained all this, we must describe the nature of flesh, bone, and the other homogeneous bodies severally. Our account of the formation of the homogeneous bodies has given us the elements out of which they are compounded and the classes into which they fall, and has made it clear to which class each of those bodies belongs. The homogeneous bodies are made up of the elements, and all the works of nature in turn of the homogeneous bodies is matter. All the homogeneous bodies consist of the elements described as matter, but their essential nature is determined by their definition. This fact is always clear in the case of the later products of those, in fact, that are instruments, as it were, and have an end. It is clearer, for instance, that a dead man is a man only in name. And so the hand of a dead man, too, will in the same way be a hand in name only, just as stone flutes might still be called flutes. For these members, too, are instruments of a kind. But in the case of flesh and bone, the fact is not so clear to see, and in that of fire and water even less. For the end is least obvious, there where matter predominates most. If you take the extremes, matter is pure matter and the essence is pure definition. But the bodies intermediate between the two are matter or definition in proportion as they are near to either. For each of these elements has an end and is not water or fire in any and every condition of itself, just as flesh is not flesh nor viscera viscera, and the same is true in a higher degree with face and hand. What a thing is always determined by its function. A thing really is itself when it can perform its function an eye, for instance, when it can see. When a thing cannot do so, it is that thing only in name, like a dead eye or one made of stone, just as a wooden saw is no more a saw than one in a picture. The same, then, is true of flesh, except that its function is less clear than that of the tongue. So, too, with fire, but its function is perhaps even harder to specify by physical inquiry than that of flesh. The parts of plants and inanimate bodies like copper and silver are in the same case. They all are what they are in virtue of a certain power of action or passion, just like flesh and sinew. But we cannot state their form accurately, and so it is not easy to, to tell when they are really there and when they are not, unless the body is thoroughly corrupted and its shape only remains. So ancient corpses suddenly become ashen in the grave, and very old fruit preserves its shape only, but not its taste. So too with the solids that form from milk. Now heat and cold and the motions they set up as the bodies are solidified by the hot and the cold are sufficient to form all such parts as are the homogeneous bodies, flesh, bone, hair, sinew, and the rest. For they are all of them differentiated by the various qualities enumerated above, tension, tractility, comminuability, hardness, softness, and the rest of them, all of which are derived from the hot and the cold and the mixture of their motions. But no one would go as far as to consider them sufficient in the case of the non-homogeneous parts like the head, the hand, or the foot, which these homogeneous parts go to make up. Cold and heat and their motion would be admitted to account for the formation of copper or silver, but not for that of a saw, a bowl, or a box. So here, save that in the examples given the cause is art, but in the non-homogeneous bodies, nature or some other cause. Since then, we know to what element each of the homogeneous bodies belongs. We must now find the definitions of each of them, the answer, that is, to the question, what is flesh, semen, and the rest. For we know the cause of a thing and its definition when we know the material or the formal, or better, both the material and the formal conditions of its generation and destruction and the efficient cause of it. After the homogeneous bodies have been explained, we must consider the non-homogeneous too, and lastly the bodies made up of these, such as man, plants, and the rest.